Hey everybody, hey. what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese hey. Pizza here with my co-host, Hysteric Animations, and we are back Hello. playing some more Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator, where he needs to re-enter simulation mode. And last time, we were doing, uh, we were having a nice, easy, you know, jaunt about town with this GT40, but we needed to go into the tune shop and get some tires on it, because we forgot to do that, and around lap six, it kind of turned into a problem. Perfect, sports tires would be good. Nah, let's let's get the let's get the real deal, Evander Holyfield. Okay. We've we've got hey, we've got two mil. Oh, that's true. <laughs> we've got some big bills out there. Let's get those super slicks. Oh, we got the medium ones, but those will still die out a little early. I'm gonna... And they're only eleven grand, so why not? Yeah. You know, the uh, the um, traction felt a little uh, a little slicky as it was, so I'm gonna. I love I'm gonna go with slick. Kind of in the middle, but you can't have it go in the middle with this. Of course, three. Are you tell me you're four. starting to be moderate all of a sudden? Yeah, I'm trying to win. <laughs> all right, all right. I kind of win. I, I don't like, uh, I'm at 20 minutes fighting for first and you, and I'm losing and you gotta do it again. Well, I only did that. That only happened to me because I used an underpowered car. <laughs> that Motorsport Elise was definitely not the best choice. Like. In terms of performance for that, right. but nah, I, I, I don't even know. Let me slip. Just oh. full yes. racing transmission. Yeah. Hey. 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 There hey. we go. Yeah. Hey. So yeah, so we're gonna do. You're gonna do the Seattle circuit. So I know. I know that was the the second race that was available. I think I'd rather do Seattle. Oh hey, I was just there. Yeah. See that or you hey, can do two episodes to go. We'll go watch that one. Um, um, Seattle, I like better than what the the yeah, other one is Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo R246, which I don't know why uh, nobody likes that one. <laughs> I don't like that one. And if I don't like it, that means that nobody likes it. That's just the way that goes. Um, I think we got everything besides uh, I'm just checking, besides maybe. suspension, but we don't really need it. No, I don't want to make too low, or it's going over curves to spin out. Okay, so off to the races we go. Uh, oh God. Are you gonna keep doing that? Yeah. Last two episodes was that. <laughs> this guy's foul. <laughs> there okay? we go. Oh, it it like it got, and it got lodged like right here. I could I couldn't get it down. Jesus, um, I thought I was gonna call nine one one. I'm a me call nine one one. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Somebody uh, call nine one one. I'm gonna have to get this man a tracheotomy. Call the medics. Para, not parakeet. Para medic. Pair of pants. Paraplegic. <laughs> that's dude. That's gotta suck. By the way, being a paraplegic is that would be not as bad as being a quadriplegic. That that I think is probably one of the worst outside of just being in a vegetative state. But in a, in a vegetative state, you don't even really know what's going on. Like if you're a quadriplegic and you're just like you're essentially you're ineffectual from the neck down. Like that would be so frustrating because. Oh. You can't do anything on your own. Like you just, like you see something just right in front of you, and you want to grab it, and you, you can't get it. And you know, or just like there's some like just wanting to have independence to do anything, and you can't. God, that would be especially for somebody like for like an athlete or for somebody that's just used to being on the move and having total control of what you're doing and having. In, and being supremely good at whatever you're doing and just having that reduced to, you know, literally just being alive but not necessarily living, <laughs> I guess would be the only way to put that. Uh, yeah, would just would be like, oh. would be a highly frustrating existence to live. But that's being I just made that guy one. Yeah, I guess so. But you know, free healthcare and what have you. <laughs> hey. Um so, anywho, this this should be an easy win. The only thing, the only anybody that's going to give him competition is going to be that Viper GTS, but not even he will provide adequate competition. Fuck me. Okay. Yeah. Probably should have slowed down a little hey. bit there. But that's okay. Well, we got 10 laps don't to figure it out. We got 10 laps to figure it out. No big deal. Um, so, a couple episodes, a few episodes back, it was when I had, you know, Michaela and the kids on. I realized, <laughs> and it's something that I've done a million times on this show, is. I realized I started telling a story about something, I got diverted, and I never went back and talked about it, but I wanted to talk about it. 
And you lost a few subscribers. Again. Probably. He, again, he misses some, a story. Weird. That's turning into my identity. I'm the guy that occasionally sucks at gaming. And I'm a guy that also will try to tell a story and I'll end up telling five stories and forget the main story that I tried telling in the first place. Um, to be um, to be honest, um, this is kind of tough because I mean, hey, look, I I got the wheel. He's doing, doing he's doing, doing really well, by the way. Uh, everybody, first of all, everybody. I am. Hey, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Come to driving, try to make sure you don't crash, and yeah. also talking and trying not get diverted. I mean, that's, it's that's tough. You've been doing this for like about a decade, and you're doing fine. I mean, you don't. It's it's it's, it's it's harder than you think, isn't it? It is. Like it's when you're, hard. it's one thing. I've I've said it a lot here. It's it's. It's one thing when you're just sitting down playing a game, you know, to yeah. your own, to your own devices, and you're not really thinking much about it. Like you can fully immerse yourself in what's going on. Oh it's an entirely different thing when you're like when you're playing, but your attention's kind of in two or three different places, trying to entertain. It's hard, man. <laughs> it really is. That's why when I play games like Dark Souls or things that have dialogue or things that I'm supposed to like really be paying attention to, Time's and, not and I and I forget. It's just like, well, they still have to warm up a little bit. Uh, that's when that's when I get myself into trouble because people are like, oh man, you totally you totally missed a key piece of information, or you totally went right by that, and it was it was so blatantly obvious. It's like, well, to I, the left, not the right. Your other left, you dumbass, dummy. What what do you say to that, Mister Dumbass? Uh, the so name, left, the, the, another the, left, another left, and go right up your ass. <laughs> the the name is Dumas. Thank you. Um, but it's it's hard, man. It's a lot harder than I thought. And I, it's it's nice hearing from somebody that you know they they understand finally. <laughs> they After get it. ten years, someone finally understands. Apart from the hundred, you finally four, four thousand subscribers you've given me. Shit. You finally get me. Um, but yeah. So to get into it, I told I started telling a story about about competitive eating, and the fact that it blows my mind that it is like a thing that exists. Um, just outside of you know Fourth of July when they do the hot dog one, like I know there are a few other ones. Like there's there's one for hot wings, and I know there's one for um, for eating uh, like like Italian meatballs or whatever. And I know there's some for like some other things. Old penis. Or something. Yes, there is a competition held every every Boxing Day where people gather around the table to ingest as many bull penises as humanly possible in 11 minutes or less. Uh, I don't know why it'd be less, because it's, it's just a time thing. <laughs> like, well, hey. yeah, we're just gonna call it here at nine at nine forty-two. You know, just count up how many bull penises you tossed into your gullet, and we'll call a winner. <laughs> um, no, but I there was there was one. I never even thought about them doing like confectionery things. You know, I never thought about you know them doing like chocolate chip cookies or like cake, like birthday cake. But there was one that they did. And it was um, the guy that won it was Matt. Uh, Matt. Matty. Um, oh God, Matt. Matty. Matty did this. <laughs> no. 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 Me, no. He, no. He didn't. That was pretty good. Cool. That, mean, that would got, be tight, actually. I was shooting my ass out. No, it was uh, it was Matt Stoney. He's the guy that like routinely always finishes in like third or fourth place behind Joey Chestnut in the hot dog one. Um, and he did one. It was it was cupcakes. It was like it was it was uh, it was cupcakes. It was tw it was a 12 minute competition. How many do you think he ate in twelve in twelve minutes? Uh, it's gotta be about two or three. Two or three in twelve minutes. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll it'll go. It'll be it'll be it'll be four it'll be four minutes per cupcake if he did three. <laughs> so plus, also cupcakes, especially being doughy, you're drinking stuff too, drinking water. That's just gonna expand into like from like about ten. Into well, about 15 you, well, or 20 with all the water. Well, you think about the hot dog one though. The the guys they instead of eating the buns, they soak them in water and it just like it just like totally ruins them. Oh, <laughs> For one, oh yeah, oh. yeah. Have you seen the Have you seen the competition? Oh, years ago, but I mean, um, I mean, if I watch somebody do that like now these days, I, I just oh it sick. oh it's disgusting. Like it's like how like, is like I love watching it, but it's disgusting. Really because they they don't eat the hot like I want I want to see a competition where they actually have to eat the hot dog the right way yeah. instead of doing this crazy deconstruction bullshit where some relish, they where they some yeah like where it actually has to have condiments on it like now it's just like they're taking they're taking just the hot like the hot dogs and they're slamming them into the into their mouths two at a time and they're taking the buns and soaking them in water and just shoving it in their mouth it's so gross 
Like, I want to see him, like, put one together, like, in the commercial, where it's, you got your ketchup and mustard and relish on it. Maybe, like, some cheese. Wait, you got a notification. Yep, I got a, I got a text from my wife. Oh, she's a door. Yes. She also asked if I could bring a couple sodas from the fridge when I come home. And I totally will. Um, but, um, I, like, that's what I want to see. I want to see how many they can put away eating in the right way instead of doing, like, this crazy loophole crap. But, before I divert again... So you, so what? So your your guess is legit four. Or you can actually like give me like a legit, like I thought this is how much he ate. Twelve minutes. I'll go five. Five. He's going. Oh, he's, he's up in the ante by one. Come on, baby. Wait. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Daddy's already got himself a brand new bag, but he needs a new pair of shoes. Well, I will. Bag. I will take. I will take your guess. And the correct answer, I'm fairly certain. I'd have to. I'll have to double check it later. But I'm fairly certain that. The winning amount is if you tack on an extra 145. Uh, I mean, that was close. <laughs> you, you were only off by a couple. Um, so yeah, this dude polished off 150, I think. It was either like 130 or 150 cupcakes in 12 minutes. That is so, so fucking gross. <laughs> like, it's it's awesome. Like, everybody loves cupcakes. Yeah, like, I, one or two until you start feeling sick. Oh, this sugar and dough is getting to me. I can't eat Yeah, it. like, I can, on a good day, on a good day, I can polish off, like, five or six of them. I did, oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 you're good. You're good. Yeah, nice yeah. recovery, by the way. Thank you. Um, I do this on a daily basis. But, like, I can't for the life of me. After about six of them, I'd be just towing the line of vomiting. Right now, we go, we get a bunch right now, we do a contest. Just, <laughs> But, dude, 150 of those, just, like, that's just, he's popping them like aspirin, man. It's just, just throwing them in. It's like, it's like the, it's like the cartoony fat guy that's, like, yeah. constantly throwing burgers into his mouth. And, like, he's not, like, Matt Stoney's not even a big guy. Like, he's a relatively average-looking dude. And he's just shoveling these things in there. And, like, I'm imagining, I didn't see what they looked like, but I can imagine, like, they're looking like, like, regular one, like, regular-sized ones that have frosting and sprinkles on it. Like, that's what I'm imagining with that. I'm not imagining just, like, these naked-ass ones that don't have anything on them. And that's just, that's astonishing, also. And shouts to all the people that had to make all those, because there's usually any of those eating competitions, there's anywhere between, you know, 6 to 12 people, and so that's, like, that's, that, that's well over a 1,000 cupcakes. And, and also shouts to the people who didn't exactly get who somehow lived through that next day. Mm -hmm. Shouts to you. I don't drink, I mean, I'm driving, but I'll take a drink later. Also, yeah, again, with that, by the way, with the whole living afterwards, I don't know how some of these people don't have severe health problems. And, like, a lot of these competitive eaters are skinny-ass people. That's the crazy thing. Like, Joey Chestnut, the dude is tossing back 70 hot dogs a year, or in, in 12 minutes every year. He's not, like, he's a pretty regular-looking guy. Like, he's... You think, like, when you think competitive eating, you immediately think in your brain, they're just like these super huge, just morbidly obese, like, busting a, a city bus in half oh. as they're getting off of it type of guys. They're just like, oh, man, give me all the ham. They're in know? my belly. Pretty much, but like... I'm almost, high on the food like, chain, get like, in my belly. Almost all of these people are pretty average-looking guys. Like, one of the best competitive eaters in the world... The, the Black Widow, the, uh, she's like an Asian lady, she's freaking tiny! <laughs> and yet she's just, like, just... Oh, you gotta get the hot dogs, oh. Kinda, kinda. I don't know, if she, I don't think she talks like that, but... Oh, oh you eat Indigestion, oh. You might give me a fork so I can eat too much pork! Oh. Um, but seriously, dude, it's freaking, cr it's freaking crazy. Like, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Like, I would love to be a competitive eater for certain things. Like, if there, I, I guarantee you somewhere there's competitive eating for macaroni and cheese, and I would love I would love to toss my hat in the ring for that. But the next thing I'd know, it'd be like, oh, well, you know, the, the winner of the 10-minute of the competition ate 7.8 pounds in, you know, in 10 minutes. And it's like, God, everybody gets their own personalized vat of it. Hey. Like, also, like, again, with that, I wonder how they'd even do that. Would would everybody get their own personalized, like, crock pot full or whatever, and you just, they initially weigh it, they do, like, a weigh-in of the container with it all in there, and then they just weigh it afterwards, and they <laughs> do it that way? Like, I don't even know, because I can't imagine for the life of me they're just taking, 
like individual boxes of Kraft mac and cheese, and then just seeing, seeing who can eat the most full boxes of that in one sitting. I don't think that's how that works. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd be interested in it. I'd be interested if there were any things that I would do. I would do mac and cheese. I would do pizza. I would try it at least and fail horribly. I would do pizza. I would do burritos if they were just like bean and cheese burritos. Oh. No, no, no. The beans would just constantly keep you gassed throughout the entire time. Fuck which yeah, would be that's... embarrassing. While you're shoving down burritos and you're farting all the time. Good. <laughs> you know? That's 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 a strategy. That that is a that is a winning tactic right there. You know, and be like, oh, I see you're a couple ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, suck on that one in about a 30 seconds or so. That's gonna be awful. It's a burrito but, but, it's, but it's got it's got to be a breakfast burrito because once because you get the eggs in there. Oh man, there's nothing. There is not a lot of things that are worse in this world than egg farts, man. You get that, you might as well just sign your own death warrant, dig your own grave, and go lay in it because. <laughs> Guy, especially lovely when you're too lazy just to get up and go into the bathroom to let out the farts, but no, no, you're gonna fart up your room. And you're also too lazy Hell to yeah. leave and I'm open up hey, the man, if, Hey, man, if I gotta fart my own bed, I'm gonna do it. Oh, God. You gotta, hey, man, as long as you have the covers over, you can Dutch oven it. It eventually goes away. Oh, guy, okay, a fart, a fart, I'm into the cooking kitchen, go around, go around, probably let it on my head over. Hey, I'm not, I'm not sitting here trying to toot my own horn or anything, but I've got, like, when I, when I, get super like super chevron station action I put whoopee cushions to shame man <laughs> I've had some things where like they're like ones that like they go on longer than they should and they're surprising after a while where you're just like holy shit man <laughs> that one had literally some, holy shit yeah that one had some extra hey. that one had some extra stank on it <laughs> I think I might have to go check myself oh. but wow that is a weird ass looking car that is the oh that's a, uh... That is a Tommy Kyra, which is actually like a Nissan Tuna, but it's just like a special version there. It's the MZ3 Z3. You drove a Z... Or is that the, or is that the, the ZZ whatever? I mean, the ZZ3. You drove a ZZ2 yeah. in GT2. In GT2? Um, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I, I, mean, the, I love, I love that car, too. That car was awesome. Yeah, yeah, this is especially made me a great moment in and history about you. Um, we're doing the, the um, Seattle Endurance, and you were going up uh, um, yeah. um, a number of hills, and you did a cool, um, um, I think you call it 720 grab spin. That was like five years ago. So, uh, um, I did that. Like by the, uh, the, um, it's the, the, uh, on the next turn here, uh, I'm a Oh, I remember that. Yeah, dude, I remember that. I was I was driving. What was I driving in that episode? The CCT. You did something like I'm just knowing my. my I did, but I flipped around penis. just like that. <laughs> I did exactly yeah. that move. That was hey, well done by the way. Oh, that thanks. that in itself deserves I a did. mild applause. Because he did that intentionally and pulled that off. I mean, mine was by accident and I pulled it off because I panicked. But he's just like, ah, oh, you did this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no big deal. I'm here. I'm here until Tuesday, L <laughs> literally until Tuesday. Um, oh, that's. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah, what time? Oh, you uh, leaves at what? Eleven? I'm eleven twenty-five. Yeah. yeah. And then also hotels. Hey, red, hey, red eye flights are tight. They're nice. So the, the only, the, the only time I've ever been to the East Coast uh, when I went to Boston for a friend's, <laughs> I almost had a friend's funeral. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got he got married, I which had is to actually five hundred for flights. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> That's really funny. He was an asshole. I, I, it was for his wedding, which I guess you could call it a funeral. Oh yeah. Um, no. Yeah, loss of manlyhood. No, I can, I can tell you, being married is fucking awesome, and I love every moment of it. But give that, it that a, was real. That was a few months, Adam. Give it a few. We, I tease, I tease yeah, you I'm, and uh, what's her name, Michaela. You make a lovely bunch. Just, to, just don't. Why? Well, thank don't you. Don't start getting all abusive and stuff. And you overcooked the roast. <laughs> no, she makes one fucking hell of a roast. I will tell you that right now. It is good. Um, but the, yeah, the one time I've ever been to the East Coast, I went to Boston. And I took a red eye flight. We left at twelve fifteen in the morning, and we had a layover in uh, we had a layover in Dallas. Um, but man, red eye flights are tight. Those are fun. I mean, pretty much everybody fell asleep because we all decided to get some food before we got on the plane, and we all had baconators. <laughs> yeah, Every lovely. one of us had Baconators, and especially my friend Andy that decided to be the smartass and was like, hey, I'll have a Baconator with extra bacon. 
Because, you know, the six pieces they throw on it wasn't enough. <laughs> so he's like, oh, a bacon hit with extra bacon. Oh, it's like, God. oh. Just imagine how, oh, the toilets, like the bathrooms were just occupied with people. It's mm. gas. And different people who or just, probably had different concoctions before the bacon hitter. Yeah, and the fact that, you know, his arteries basically just turned into gel. Gel, and then you shit the gel out, and you got no intestines left. Yeah, actually, you know, he, he basically almost gave himself a heart attack, and then the pure velocity and power of his shit actually cleaned out his, his arteries for him. That's good. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing. But yeah, it was it was really cool. I, I really enjoy late flights like that. Yeah. I'm going to just imagine being all plugged up, being like all stuffy, but though you're flying in um, six miles in the sky, which of course... Be on physics and stuff. That's gonna put a lot more pressure on your stomach. Do you uh, do you get any turbulence when you flew? Oh yeah, I mean, it actually felt quite fun because well, I mean the the um, only fun times I had, of course, whining children running around. The um, only good time I had was after uh, um, a shot of Jack Daniels, which cost nine bucks though, but it was worth it. And they put them in those tiny ass little cups that are like this big. <laughs> I um, might not even get a little cup of coke. I just drink it straight like I need this. Oh, that was a ZZS. Oh, ZZS, ZZ3 was in GT2. I'm I'm still... So... The the 2 and 3, I think, were both in there, weren't they? Yes. Yeah. Very nice. That's so, yeah, dude. They'll, yeah, they're, they're cool, though. Um, I do not do well with turbulence at all. I like it used to not bother me, but I also have like super bad acrophobia, which is weird because I have a severe fear of heights, but I don't mind being in planes at all. Even if I like look out the window and I'm looking down, realizing that I'm you know thirty thousand feet in the air, oh. it doesn't bother me at all until I start until turbulence happens. <laughs> and I don't know why I don't know why this is even part of it, but part of the reason for that, <laughs> so stupidly, because it's not even feasible this would ever even happen. But part of the reason why I have that that paranoia was because of the episode of Rocco's Modern Life. It was called I think it was called um, called Jet Scream, where Rocco and Heifer went on a flight to um, to I think it was to Las Vegas for like a comic book convention or something like that. And they get on the plane and they go through this turbulence and the plane just starts just doing this motherfucker of a storm. Or it starts going. Boom, boom, and everybody's just like flying around <laughs> and just like basically everybody's dead in this plane and, or they might as well have been and it's just I, it's it boils down to the fear that you know you're gonna be on the plane you're gonna hit turbulence so bad that one of the engines is just gonna freaking blow out and you're just gonna tank it down into the ground Oh. And so I mean that Actually, I like shut up about engine planes because my flight is tomorrow. I don't <laughs> want you to fucking jinx <laughs> You're gonna be just fine. Ironically enough, planes are actually one of the safest forms of travel in the entire world. Yeah, well not until your freaking engine blows and go It's not going Michaela, to Michaela, you're ruining the face recording. It, it's the ah! Alright, sorry about that guys. I got a quick phone call. So uh, the wife called. So we're gonna have to actually we're pretty much done with this anyway. Yeah. So we're gonna cut this one for the evening and uh I'd like to uh, thank Eric for for coming onto the show for a few episodes. Sure, it was it was, nice. uh, it was it was my pleasure. It was nice I, I really really about, enjoyed it. So yeah, talking about about crazy people throwing piss into a microwave and competitive eating and all sorts of other stuff. So yeah, yeah, when we come back on the next episode, it'll be just me again, just little old me, and we'll get back onto uh, yeah, yeah, doing yeah, all the good Eric stuff. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll uh, do all that and. Uh, Hope you guys had a good time with this, and this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thanks for watching, everybody. Hysteric Animations on YouTube. I make um, cartoons of show like uh, I'm Is This and, ma and many others. Foul language, so no children around, please. And I'm a Twitter, I'm a Twitter Hysteric Cartoon. Follow me. Call me a piece of shit as many times as you like. I will accept that because I know how true that is. So take care and. We'll see you guys later. See. Ya. Have a good one. Bye.